All right, so Gene, you have done a fantastic job. You've learned all of your consonant sounds. You've learned all of your vowel sounds. You can visualize the vowel circle. Everything's great. So now that you've learned all of the different sounds in the English language, we can start to spell and read with those sounds. Okay. So we're not going to worry about letters right now. We're just going to we're just going to focus on the sounds and the pictures that we already know. So you know all these pictures right here, and you know all the names of them. Okay. So what we could do is I could have you spell just by using those pictures one sound at a time. Okay. So if I gave you a word, I'm going to give you a word. It might be a fake word, a word that I made up. You can feel the first sound and the second sound and the next sound. And you can go ahead and show me which pictures correspond with those sounds. Okay? And we can spell just like from left to right. Okay? So if I gave you the word hit, I want you to say that word. Hit. You're saying hip. You're you're the first sound that you make, what is what's coming out of your mouth? Windy. Right. So let's look at my mouth. Am I making a windy sound? Hip. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have an air handle? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, first of all, how many sounds are in that word? And if you need to, you can go ahead and, since you know you're an organ killing you, you can finger spell. Okay. It. If that it. helps you. <coughs> Two. Two sounds, right? What is the first sound that you're making? Yeah, and if you need to, you can you can use a mirror to help you look at it, right? You're doing really well, so. What do we call that sound? It, our mouth is? Smile. Right, so can you find a smile picture? Go ahead and bring that down right there. Let's put it there, so we can get out of here. Okay, what's the next sound you feel your mouth making? Okay, and what do we call that sound? Um, uh, lip popper. Good, can you find the lip popper? Yep. So you can put that before or after you're smiling? It, it comes after. After. So you're going to put it to the right. So just like when we spell from left to right and we read from left to right. Okay? And what we can do is we can make changes to our word. Okay? And we can just make one change at a time. So, and I also want you to follow a procedure. Okay? And I'll help you with the procedure. Alright? So, let's make a first change. If that says if, Make it say "thip." And here's your procedure that you're going to do. I want you to say the old word, "ip." Yep. Say the new word, "thip." Thip. And I want you to touch and say the old word with your fingers. Go ahead and touch. It. Good. Yep. Good. And then now touch and say the new word, "thip." Do I need another picture? Well, do you feel another sound? Okay, where would you feel it? In my lip. Right. Where, where, where on the table would you feel oh, it? Oh, right here. Okay, so you can go ahead and touch that blank spot right okay. there and say the sound. It. Good. Fit. And now what do you need to do to make it say fit? I need to get my um, lip cooler. Right, and where are you going to put the lip cooler? At the beginning. Good, go ahead and do that. And I would want them to talk it out. I want to put a lip cooler at the beginning, okay? All right. So how many sounds do we have right there? Three. Three. Are those different sounds or are they the same sounds? They're different. They're all different, right? <laughs> Let's take a look at these blocks that I have right here. Okay? These blocks are also going to represent sounds, okay? And you said we have three sounds and they're all different. I want you to choose three blocks that are all different colors. And I want you to put them underneath our pictures. Any color blocks you want. They have to be three of them and they have to be all different colors. Okay, good. Let's do another change. And this time, instead of touching the pictures, let's just touch the blocks this time. Okay. If that says fit, Make it say fit. Now let's follow our procedure. Say the old word. Fit. Say the new word. Now say fit. fit. Good. Touch and say the old word. Yeah. Fit. 
Yeah. Touch and save it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. What do we need to do to make it say big? Take this one away. Take one. What is that? That's the. Right. Can you tell me the name of what's our special name our label? Oh, um, the um, lip popper. Right. So you just need to take the lip popper away, right? So go ahead and take the picture away too, and the block. Can we get rid of these pictures? Is that okay? And just use blocks? <laughs> really? Yeah. You're doing so well. You're progressing so well. We can just get rid of those pictures. Okay, let's do another change. If that says fit, make it say fa. Make it say fa. Follow your procedure. If fit fa fa. Where's the change? Right here. Okay. Go ahead and make your change and talk to me and tell me what you're doing. Okay, I'm going to take away the if. Which is a. What which is it? a smile. Good. And I'm going to put in an aw, which is a round, rounding. Okay, if it were round, then your lips would, your lips would be round. And it would what? sound, ooh, sound like that. Okay. So when you say uh, ah, how uh, is your mouth? Uh, is it round or is it open? It's open. It's open. Okay. Good. It's that. Yeah. Right. But we don't need to work with the okay. pictures. We can just do the blocks. And if you want to, let's put our blocks right next to each other. Okay. Just like we have uh, letters are next to each other when we spell. Okay. Right. All right. If that says fa, make it say fa. Fa. Say the old word fa. Fa. Is that a new word? Fa. Ah, uh, fa, fa. Just say it first. And then, fa. Okay. Now you can touch and say the old word. Ah, uh, fa. Now touch and say the old word or the new word. Ah, uh, fa. Tell me what you have to do. I have to add uh, a um, lip cooler. Okay. Go ahead and add your lip cooler. It has to be the same color. Very good. Why did you choose blue? Because it's the same as the it's first. It's the same one. sound, isn't it? Very good. Okay. Do you want me to keep going? Mm -hmm. So, what would, um, if, it, if she chose the, the other, the noisy lip cooler, would she switch it to a different color? Or? If, um, I probably would not do that again okay. at the beginning. Don't do five, right? Okay. Um, because they might think, oh, do I put the same color? Or mm -hmm. technically, it's a different sound, right? Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't put the same color. OK, I'm just like picturing the picture, like what you would do with the picture translating to the Right, block. and I wouldn't even do that with the picture. Okay. Yeah. Um, another thing that, that I would want to do, but, yes. as I would, I don't know if you can see this. You probably can't see it, but what I would do is as I would have my list right here of the words that I'm doing, right? And I would probably be making diagnostic prescriptive notes right here. Did she get that one right or wrong? If she got it wrong, what did she put? So eventually, I'm going to know what she's going to be struggling with. What sounds did she struggle with? Did she struggle with adding, substituting, shifting? Did she struggled with the vowels, OK? So I'm diagnosing right there. And in the future, I can start to work what she's struggling with. Okay. Again, do you want me to keep going? Or do you get this? Is that okay? Think you can try that? Okay. All right. Jean, you have been doing a fantastic job with you're tracking uh, the blocks, right? And we just make one sound change at a time. Sometimes we could use the, the letter tiles that we have and make changes with that, and we're doing really good with that. And now we're going to do something a little different. You, we're going to make changes not to sounds, but to letters, okay? And you're going to visualize those letters on our little symbol imagery card that we have right here, or SI board, symbol imagery board, okay? And what you're going to do is you can use your finger and you can write it and say it on our board and you're going to visualize it as well. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a word 
and you'll have to spell it, or maybe I'll make a change and you might have to read it. Okay. So, I'm going to give you a word. Here's your first word. Bad. Can you say that word for me? Bad. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to go ahead and with your finger, and I want you to talk out loud, on each space on that board, write the letters of how you would spell fat. You can figure spell if you want. Adam. And tell me the letters. Say, you got to say the sounds. Because you were you've been doing so good with the sounds. Now we're gonna switch to letters. A D. Yeah, I like how you did that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the second letter that you see? Okay. What was the last letter? D. Good. So you had it nice and visualized. You can see those letters there. Can you make them a certain color? You want to make them a color? See if you want to put your favorite color. <laughs> green. Okay. You can visualize them as green letters if you want. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a change. Okay. Um, if that says fad. How would you make it say fade? What letter change? We're only going to make one letter change. What would you do? I put an E at the end. Okay. Go ahead and write your E in what spot? Right here. Okay, the fourth spot. Right. And go ahead and write it and say the letter E. E. Okay. Good. What if I took away the D? in the third spot, and I put a K in, what would it say? Eight. Good. Right. Go ahead and, yep, that's go ahead the thing. And, you can just put your, if you want to just do your K, that's fine. And then say it out loud as you think. K. Say the letter. K. Right, there you go. Got it. Okay, if that says fake, <coughs> I want you to make it say, sake. S sick. Okay. What did you? What was the change? What did you do? I, I changed the F to an S. Okay. Good. So I'm having her spell right there, right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to have her make. Now I'm going to have her read. Um. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a letter. Okay. I'm going to let add the letter H into this on the second space. Okay, and we're going to shift all the other letters over. Okay, can you tell me what that says? Shake. Good. Go ahead and let's just practice. What's the third letter you visualize there? A. What's the last letter? E. Good. Uh, if that says shake, I want you to make it say shale. Where's the change at? Right here. L. Sh. A. Okay. And what do you need to change? L. Right. L. What, what was there before? Okay. Right. So you're taking away the K and you're putting it out. L. Okay. Am I having her do the same procedure? Or like in the, block, in the blocks? Do I have her? Am I having her say the old word, say the new word, and touch and say? Yeah. Not really, am I? Not a lot. No. Because is this based on sounds or letters? Or is this based on feeling or visualizing? Oh, it's based on visualizing. Right. So she's repeating, but it's okay. So, so what if I focused on her doing feeling sounds? No, you're focusing on what she's seeing right. and, then she, and then saying it. How would you air handle then if going from fad to fade and you asked what the change would be and she said an I after the A? An I? Mm -hmm. oh. So it would be F A I D, which would right. say fade. I mean. So she would say, oh, I'm going to put an I after the A. Okay. Right. And I would say, you're right, that is one way we can spell the A sound. Okay. What's another way that we can spell the A sound? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's 
so I'm responding to her response and I'm having her discover a different way. And the rules that she, remember she's more an advanced student now, right? Okay, so see how I did both reading and spelling with this? And I'm not focused on the feeling of the mouth, I'm only focused on the visualizing, okay? If she did a, an error with reading, then I would error handle of what she's visualizing. Okay, so Penny, I want you to go ahead and read this, but just make an error, okay? Okay. Sad. Okay. So I agree the first, you were correct on the first and the last sounds, okay? Uh, you said thag, so we're going to analyze the error that she made, right? Am I going to analyze this? Mm -hmm. Am I going to analyze that? Mm -hmm. Where's the error that she made? She made it right here, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the part we're going to analyze, okay? And I'm going to have her feel what she did. Her response was, right, ah, she made an ah right there, right? So I'm going to say, when you say thag, what sound do you feel your mouth making after your tongue cool. The ah, 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 ah. And I might even cover this up. Because okay. I don't want her to look at it. Okay, okay. I'm just going to go through feeling. Ah. When you say thad, what sound do you make after you feel after the tongue cooler? You're going to say ah. ah. What is your mouth doing? It's, um, it, it's, my chin is dropping. Right. Is it open or smiling? Or <laughs> it is, it's, it should be a smile. It's smiling. smiling, right? Yes. Okay. And what letter do you visualize with your bow circle in that smiley where the jaw dropped a little bit? Oh, know. it's an A. Okay. Let's take a look at uh, what I put down here. What letter do you see? Uh-oh. Okay. And do you see your O in your bow circle? Yes. Okay. It's what at sound? the bottom. Good. What sound does that make? It says ah. Uh. Okay. So go ahead and read that again. Fog. Okay. So. I acknowledge what was right. I responded to the response. You said bag, and then I had her discover, <coughs> analyze the error, and she did it in a multi-sensory way. It was all asking questions, Socratic method. And then, when she discovered what she did, then I compared it to the stimulus, and she had to talk that out too. So that contrasts the stimulus. <coughs> then she realizes her error. She can correct herself. All right, so we can do a spelling one, okay? Uh, Adriana, if that says fog, make it say shog, and then make an error. Okay, um, so I take out the th and I put a ch. Okay, uh, if I have a ch, can I borrow a ch? Here's one. Here it is. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we can respond to the, or we can acknowledge what she did right. What she do right? Did she do anything right? Mm -hmm. So is it, I said she tried to she's. Graph. I'm having her spell this time, right? Yes. If that says fog, make it say shog, and she made. She took out the TH mm -hmm. and she put in a CH. So did she do anything right? Mm -hmm. What did she do right? Graph, she, uh, she changed the right position. Yes. Yeah. I agree you need to make a change at the yeah. beginning, yes, right? Okay. Then what? We respond to the response. You said Now did she say it or did she spell it? Oh, she spelled it. Yeah, that's just an example. Okay. Okay. We're not always going to say you said. Okay. So you chose. You chose. You picked C H. Yeah. Right. You picked C H. Right. Mm -hmm. And again, cover that up. Okay. Um, and I might say so. We're going to have to go to the C H. Right. Um, do you, can you visualize C H with the the picture that it goes with and its brother? Mm -hmm. What is, what is the picture that you visualize with the CH? It's um, a fat air push. Right. And then you're making it right. Okay. So um, when I had you spell the word shog, now let's work in 
contrasting it to uh, the uh, the stimulus, right? Uh, make that first sound. Okay, and I agree it's a fat, right? And is it a push or a string? It's a string. Okay, and what letters do you visualize for that fat or string picture? S H. Okay. And you can make your change. So use the visualizing, use the feeling, use all that. And that's why we created such a strong base of the practice and the visualizing so that if we do need to error handle, they can retrieve that quickly. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to pretend that that says fill, okay? It will, got it, then, okay. If that says fill, make it say lil. Say the old word, fill. Say the new word, lil. Lil. Okay, touch and say. You can make an error wherever you want. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, I agree that is a, a lip cooler. Let's check and see what you did when you said. Is that noise or quiet? Noisy. Okay. And I want you to listen to what I said. Phil. Okay. Repeat that after me. Phil. Phil. What was that first sound that looked cool or is that noise you're quiet? Quiet. So not touch and say. It will feel. Okay, and I want you to change it to flil. Lil. Oh, ill. Touch and say each one. Oh, it will Okay, where do you need to make the change? You're right, you made you didn't make an error though. Oh whoops. What if she had done this? I was gonna put it the same. Okay. I agree that we do need to add a sound right there. Okay. Um, you're showing me, right, respond to the response, that this sound is the same as that sound. Okay, what is that sound right there? Give me the, the name of that sound. Lip popper. It's a lip popper. Quiet. Okay, so you're telling me that this is also a lip popper, right? So, yeah. Let's go ahead and say our word again. Flil. Flil. And what are you feeling after? The lip cooler. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so is that yes? Is that the same or different from your lip popper? Oh, oh, oh. It's different. It's different. Okay. Is there another sound in here? Do you feel another front Ill, tongue lifter? Ill. Okay. So what color is that? Yellow. So we need to make that yellow. 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 Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it sounded a lot better in my head than it did when you wrote on paper. Yeah, and she did make she, an error right there, yeah. right? Okay, again, when you say fill, what do you uh -oh. feel? Like? 
Yeah. See, that's what I was doing. It's so easy. Lil. There you go. Lil. Lil. This is, it's Leah's chain. It's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it seems so much better on paper when it's in. Lil. That's really, that's really a tough chain. Well, L, I know it is, but it was one that was met the requirements. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't really worried about it. Well, Students are doing it. Uh, <laughs> trying to, get the trying to do a switch right off the top. Or a um, repeat. Um, okay, let's do this. Let's pretend that says Ross. Okay, Ross. 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 Okay. If that says Ross, make it say Rops. Follow your procedure. Say the old word. Ross. Say the new word. Ross. Go ahead and touch and say. Ross. Ross. Make your change. saying that you feel that, what is that, give me the name of it. Oh, a skinny airstream. Okay, you're saying that you feel a skinny airstream after you're open here, right? Rasps. Okay. Um, so you had it like that, right? You did two changes. You did that, and then you put it in. That's all right. So when we say the new word, Rob, what do you feel after you're open? Mm -hmm. Give me the name of that. Uh, lip popper. The lip popper. popper. Mm -hmm. So we need to have the lip popper after uh, our open sound. This is stream. Yeah. different. And, and you might say, what? but I feel a skinny nose stream. Okay. Okay. And the new word is rops. So we need to have that lip popper there. Right? What do you feel after the lip popper when you say rops? Rops. Which is? Skinny hair. Right? Okay. Uh, I also could have done. Because we had Ross, right? Mm -hmm. Ross. And then, so they needed to be switched. Right. Yeah, but you also added a sound. Oh, that's, that would be like a repeat. <laughs> so you did a good couple different errors right there, right? You um, did I could also say you're showing me five sounds. When we say rocks, <coughs> how many sounds do you feel? Uh, four. Four, okay. Let's look and see what you have here. You have how many? Five. Five, okay. So we need to remove one, right? Uh, there you go. <laughs> so there's a, maybe if they make multiple errors, you might have to there's different ways you could air handle it, right? <laughs> okay, do I need to model anymore? Okay. 